first, the election and the nature of security of our election process, which continues to be a talking point during this campaign season. And that's the reason a local group is working to bring more transparency to those issues. News 19's Dustin Lukey joins us now from the Pump House Regional Arts Center in La Crosse for a special town hall meeting tonight, Dustin. Yeah, Dave, Leader Ethics is working tirelessly right now, much like the campaigns themselves. But Leader Ethics is working to assure people that their vote cast over this next month is safe and secure. And in doing so, they're hosting a live forum, a town hall setting tonight, with four former members of Congress, three Republicans and a Democrat, plus La Crosse County Clerk Ginny Dankmeyer, to talk exactly about what is and what isn't happening with our elections. And to talk a little bit more about this program and Leader Ethics effort itself is the executive director, Lee Rosh. Lee, thanks for being with us tonight. I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much. So you're hosting a number of, of these, these forums right now, these talks about election security. It continues to be a big topic of discussion. I guess what are some of the concerns or questions that keep coming up from people? Well, we know this is going to be a close election, and Wisconsin is considered a key state, a battleground state, so there's a lot of attention uh, being focused here on Wisconsin. And the concern that we're having is that if whoever doesn't win the election, that there isn't an overreaction uh, by voters and supporters or, or whatever. We want to get through this and have a quote-unquote normal Wisconsin election, and then we'll obviously regroup and figure out how the new leadership is going to take us forward. So that's our goal. Yeah. And, and with that, with from these events that you've had, from uh, the discussions that you've had with people, what are ways folks can talk with their neighbor, their family about the elections? Because it is so important. You know, we say don't talk about politics and religion, right. but we need to have these discussions. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, uh, the political divide is just another form of a structural conflict. And we have all kinds of structural conflicts in organizations and in communities. And it never gets better on its own. And, and so it takes leaders to bring people together. There are groups that can come in and they have uh, workshops and formats to try to help people become better listeners and appreciate the different values that people have. Um, there's ways to check disinformation and misinformation that's online. And I, I call it build a personal toolkit so that you have something you can do to make sure that you can function in this. And then that opens the door to, with family members and others as well, I believe. To be able to have those conversations. Yeah. And one way you can do that is by coming down to the Pump House uh, tonight. The program starts at 7 o'clock. Coming up at 6, Dave, we're hoping to talk with one of the panelists about how they talk with folks about the election process. For now, reporting at the Pump House Regional Arts Center in La Crosse, I'm Dustin Lukey. Dave, back to you. All right, Dustin, thanks so much. If you can't make it tonight, we do plan to live stream the event on our website, wxow.com. Again, all that begins at 7 o'clock.